From the family of plants that brought us the mint, this specimen here can also be broken down into meat. The leaves and flowers of this unlucky bugger can be boiled to oblivion and infused in the hot spirits of those who misidentify plants in hell. Lamium purpureum, the plant in front of us here is, leaves and flowers, on the other hand, can fashion one a tea, and is why it's always important to do your own research and not trust strangers on the internet. Lamium purpureum can be eaten raw or cooked. In its raw form, it's stuffed to the brim with vitamin A, C. This unlucky sod contains vitamin K for those who are addicted to nutrients, living life like a crack fiend. Gather all salad suckers and relinquish this innocent plant's position in life and be temporarily fulfilled with calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium and iron. This plant supports healthy immune functions. It is also a histamine combating allergies and reactions. It goes to war against free radicals in the body. It is a pain reliever and anti-inflammatory. It is blessed with antibacterial and antifungal properties. This specimen also supports healthy kidney functions. It was topically used for minor cuts, wounds, rashes, skin irritations, dry and cracked skin, joint pains, inflamed joints, and arthritis. Ancient plants has a lot of folklore and myths surrounding it. It has long been used in magical ceremonies to bring feelings of happiness, security, and grounding to their user, whatever the fuck that means. I'm looking at you, Harold, and the Potter gang. You can identify this plant by its distinctively disgusting square stems. Leaves covered in fine hairs, which are green, shape-shifting to a purple at its summit. And like the common stinging nettle, has wavy serrated margins, or rather edges. It has zygomorphic flowers, which are bright pink or purple. Commonly mistaken for another plant, this specimen has many similarities. Only if you are undereducated and erected, dry hump hugging the gravy circumference of a tree. High on reindeer urine. Good day.